Does everyone know about the frozen chicken ghost? What? Have we mentioned the frozen chicken ghost before? I don't think I've heard of that. It's a London ghost. It's in Highgate. Lord Francis Bacon... Himself the ghost of a pig. (laughs) A French pig. Um, (laughs) He was doing some experiments with using snow and ice to preserve things, and he had it in his head that he could freeze a chicken. Nah, never happened. So... It's crazy talk. This is in 1626, and he was pondering the preservative effect of snow and ice. So he had his coachman buy him a chicken from the farm that they were passing, pluck it, gut it, kill it, pluck it, gut it. That's the order. Yeah, that's Mm -hmm. the standard order. And he started stuffing the bird with handfuls of snow and put it in a bag filled with more snow. And it says here, while doing so, however, fits of vomiting and shivering, which he'd already felt on his coach journey, grew worse. And he took refuge in a friend's house in Highgate and then died. Oh, wow. And there's a ghost associated with it. But it's not Lord Francis Bacon's ghost. It's not the ghost of a French pig. It's the ghost of that chicken. (coughs) 300 years later, during air raids in the Second World War, several aircraftmen, firefighters and residents of Pond Square in the area reported seeing a large bird, unable to fly because most of its feathers have been plucked, running around in circles and flapping the stumps of its wings. Oh. And it was seen again in the 60s and 70s, and it would just drop out of the sky. What? With a squawk. And whenever it's seen, it is shivering. <laughs> because it's cold. I guess so. Because of the snow. So he did preserve that chicken in the end Uh, yeah for all time in the afterlife Mm, that is bizarre taking us back to our region one last little fun animal tale that comes from chipping sodbury which is near chipping camden because chipping is a local word meaning to cheapen it basically means it's a market town there's a junction of broad street and high street and there's a cat that haunts it but that's not a ghost because that cat was also the victim of an experiment by an alchemist who was trying to concoct a potion which would give something everlasting life. It haunts it in the sense that it always hangs around there, but it's not a ghost. It's an alive cat that's still alive because the alchemist, had, he succeeded in making this immortal life potion, but foolishly left it in a saucer on the ground. Oh, and the cat drank it. Oh. And you know what? He never managed to repeat that experiment. And so that cat wanders the earth. But no, just a little bit of chipping Sodbury. All oh, right, but forever. And will do forever. If you heard that there was free chicken down in Highgate, it might get the bus or something, whatever <laughs> cats do, and they need to travel. Link that cat up with the ghost chicken and just try and hammer this thing out. And what? And that's the worst superhero team ever. <laughs> yeah, an immortal cat and a very cold chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to do cold chicken noise, but that's good. That's that good because the teeth. The, the teeth can't chatter, obviously, because they don't have them. It'd just be a beak. Just the kitten could, I suppose, wrap itself around the chicken to to warm it somewhat. I don't think they're going to get on. Oh, okay. The immortal they're cat the and the uh, ghost plucked chicken. Oh, yeah, stick them in a flat together. I'm watching it. The heating is on too high. (laughs) The chicken's like, but I am the ghost of a cold chicken. It's going to take us forever to pay off this heating bill. Well, it's lucky because (laughs) you're immortal and and I've been preserved. (laughs) 